everybody. I'm just giving you a quick EFT technique that we hardly ever use anymore because we have kind of better ones and ones that are more effective and go deeper. But this time when we're trying to really like help ourselves and, and have a quick tool that can help us regulate, I just remembered that we we have collarbone breathing technique. So I'm gonna show you this and you can do it at any time. So you take two fingers of your right hand, place it on your collarbone point. Now your collarbone point, if you go to where a man would tie his necktie knot and you feel these two protruding bones here, go diagonally a bit and you'll feel this kind of groove here, this indent. Um, that's where the collarbone point is. So you're gonna take your right hand to put two fingers and place it on the collarbone point. And then you're gonna tap at the gamut point. So the gamut point, if you were to draw an equilateral triangle between your first and second knuckle and go just behind that to in between, that groove right there, if you were drawing an equilateral triangle, all the same, the same length size, sides are the same size, you would tap right there. If you don't want to, if you don't know where it is and you're in your head about it, just kind of slap the back of your hand. You'll get it. So you're going to do, you're going to do this and you're going to take a deep breath in and out. And you're going to breathe halfway in and hold it. Breathe all the way in and hold it. Breathe halfway out and hold it. All the way out. And then you're gonna switch hands. Right to the next other collarbone point. Tap at the back of the hand or slap the back of the hand. And you're gonna breathe in and out. Breathe halfway in and hold it. Breathe all the way in and hold it. Breathe halfway out and hold it. And all the way out. Okay, and that's it. That's the collarbone breathing technique. You know, we teach all of these different techniques. Emotional freedom techniques I see out there is emotional freedom technique. No, it's a whole variety of different techniques. And this is a especially good one because it's you can use it on yourself. You can use it in a pinch. You don't have to think about what's going on that's feeling um, dysregulating or triggering or what's happening. You just completely ground yourself and we're using the breath, something that we're really trying to, to do during this time is to really help our lungs expand, feel more clear, work our work our lung capacity. So I hope you, let, you like it and you try it and let me know what you think. Okay, thanks.